Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today. We're redefining what an expat looks like in the Philippines. Unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, expats in the Philippines have a bad reputation. We're old. We're old. Lonely. Desperate. Willing to give away all our money just for some attention. And before I go any further, let me say that I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about anybody else, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I took a long look in the mirror and I said, that isn't me. Nor is it a lot of men I'm seeing over here. We're not fat. We're not lazy and out of shape and can no longer take care of ourselves. The Philippines hasn't become a budget nursing home for us as it has for many men. We're certainly not putting our lives in the hands of women who can't even take care of themselves. No, on the contrary, we're in great shape and we're in our right state of minds. We're not old, we're not lonely. We can take care of ourselves. And the Philippines is but one option. It isn't the last hope for us that it is for many. Remember, this message is for me. It doesn't make me better than anybody else. I had to take a good look in the mirror. Because I'd be damned if I'm going to put my life in the hands of some other human being at this point. And guess what? When I deem myself useless, I'll go home before I let somebody use me. A new day is dawning. Men are coming here much younger and much healthier. We're no longer the pushovers that Filipinos have come to expect. But let me stop right there and say some Filipinos, not all. Fuck around and find out. You're going to put in some work messing with me today. You're going to be old and useless long before I do. But if we're going to clean up the image of the Western expat in the Philippines, it has to start with the man in the mirror. It has to start with me. This vlog is a message to myself to do better. But if the shoe fits, wear it. Because it's time that we reclaim the ground that we've lost over the years. Gone are the days of men coming over here laying down and being simps and putting the interests of other people before their own. Gone are the days of being led around like a little damn child over here. We're grown men. It's time that we stand up on our own two feet. If we're ever going to redefine what an expat looks like, it's going to start today. A new day is dining, gentlemen. We're going to shatter that old image and that old definition that's been around for too long of old men coming over here preying on young women and taking advantage of a vulnerable population. Those days are gone, man. And I know I'm going to get a pushback on this, but I don't care. The truth hurts. It's time that we get rid of that bad reputation that's been haunting us all this time. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't see an old and lonely and desperate Man willing to give away everything he's earned his entire life just for some attention. I didn't see a fat, lazy, out of shape, womanizer, pedophile, drunk, and skirt chaser. I saw much more than that. I saw a man who was still in his prime, who still had a lot to give, who was going to treat people with respect. I'm not a saint. And I'm not better than anybody else. But they try to lump us all into one basket. And I said, I be damned. So I'm going to redefine what an expat looks like. In my house. That's where it's going to start. It's going to start with the man in the mirror, guys. I'm not Michael Jackson and all that, but that's the facts. Now, if you guys don't have a problem with it, then continue to do what you're doing. It's all about self-improvement. When they look at me, I want them to see a human being. I don't want them to see that definition that's 
been around all these years. Take a look at this. Do you see somebody who looks like they need somebody to take care of them? Do you see somebody that looks like they need to be led around like a child? Do you see a pushover? Absolutely not. What you see is a productive member of this society. Is this a pipe dream? No. Because when people see me, I want them to see a human being. I don't want them to see that definition that they've placed on my back from the minute I got over here. There's a new expat in town. He's younger. He's healthier. He's smarter and he's standing on his own two feet. We aren't buying love and we're not buying friends. We're not putting on a show so that people can like us. We're adding to the equation and not taking anything away. Our self-interests are where they're supposed to be, at the forefront. And we can do that without mistreating anybody. We're in great shape and we're in our right mind. We're redefining what an expat looks like over here in the Philippines. Take it or leave it. So if you're in America, it's early. You're about to get up. Go to work. Go to school. Go to the gym. Get a cup of coffee or a newspaper. If you see somebody out there that needs help, and you can help them without putting yourself in jeopardy, help them. If you're in the Philippines, it's getting late. It's almost midnight. I hope you were able to help somebody today. Now the day goes by that I don't help somebody over here. That's part of the new reputation of expats. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time.